more on the results of our News Nation Decision Desk headquarters poll. New numbers show voters across the country are concerned about the economy and crime, particularly violent crime. Only about 16% of people said they feel more safe in their communities right now than they did three months ago. So for more on these numbers now, we welcome in Mary C. Curtis. She's a columnist at Roll Call. And Mary, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Let's start with crime. Uh, we see crime. We see people are very concerned about it. Major cities have seen spikes in crime. They're also dealing with mass shootings. So what were some of the crime results that stood out to you? Well, that people are concerned, particularly in the cities uh, the, of crime. They want law enforcement. And you see that this will be an issue in the midterms coming up. At the same time, uh, with the January 6 hearings, uh, you see the the Democrats will be saying, well, also there were some lawbreakers there and people aren't be, being held to account. But with both the economic numbers and the crime numbers, people are really feeling, how do they feel in their day-to-day -day lives? Do they feel safe? Uh, and also with the mass shootings, as you said, uh, they really also, I think, want some movement by our leaders on gun reform. They don't want it to be normalized. Mary, I find it interesting. The Democratic Party has always been a little bit less unified than the Republican Party. And this crime issue specifically is something that really has the two wings of the party at odds. You have a lot of the moderate Democrats who are saying, let's support police, let's do more to fight crime here. And then you have a more progressive wing of the party that says, stop focusing on crime. Let's focus on the root causes of crime. Is this a wedge issue for the Democrats or is this something they can sort of come together around that will help them eventually have a strategy for the midterms? Well, I do think that there is a way that they can come together. I think folks who want police reform would say uh, they aren't mutually exclusive, that you can have effective policing, that the best effective policing it is fair policing and that all the people are treated fairly. So I think they can come together on this. Although progressives are saying you also need police reform. Remember, we still had the issues of Derek Chauvin and other things where we've seen with videos that all people aren't treated fairly by the criminal justice system. So I think that would be the argument that the best policing is fair policing. And, you know, as we saw in Uvalde, Texas, you had quite a few members of law enforcement that were there uh, with guns and they were not effective. Uh, and so I think the argument that you just need to have more police is actually more complicated than that. What you need is effective policing and fair policing. So that's where they can come together. Mary, what do you make of the difference in attitudes toward crime from folks that live in bigger cities and folks that live in more rural areas. Maybe the crimes aren't happening down their street, but they're seeing a lot of it happening on television and, and they might be more scared of it. Do you think that the, the, the attitudes of folks toward crime differ between folks in small cities and bigger ones? Well, I do think that, uh, you know, if you look at actually the crime statistics, that it's not as simple as that. There, whether the mayors are Democratic or Republican, you've seen some spikes in certain kinds of crimes, but there's also crimes in rural areas as well, different kinds of crimes. Uh, and so I do think that the issue is really more complex than that. All right, that's Mary C. Curtis. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.